Normally, making a custom chip costs tens of thousands of dollars. And don't forget another hundred thousand dollars for renting the design software. Oh, and you'll have to sign an NDA to get started. And that NDA means you can't share your design with anyone. Tiny Tape Out makes it easier, quicker and cheaper than ever before to get your designs onto a real chip. Open source tools, excellent documentation and a vibrant community helps to make it much easier to get started and avoid common mistakes. Tiny Tape Out is for students, makers, hackers, universities, and anyone interested in learning more or getting their designs made into silicon. All our learning resources and tools are free to use, and they're online to avoid download, installation, and licensing problems. If you're a total beginner, you can try Wokwi, our digital design and simulator tool. Or, if you know what you're doing, you can use a hardware description language like Verilog, VHDL, or Amaranth. Then, use our GitHub action-based system to build the files you need for the ASIC. Once the files are ready, you can explore the layout with this really cool 3D viewer. The minimum size is 160 by 100 microns, about a thousand logic cells. And if you need more space, you can buy extra tiles. Each design gets access to clock, reset and 24 IOs, with about 50 MHz bandwidth. Tiny Tape Out isn't just for digital designs. For Tiny Tape Out 6, we've added analog and mixed signal support, as well as support for designs made with proprietary tools like Cadence. Once the design is ready, we send it to eFabless and they'll manufacture it on the open source Skywater 130nm process. The first 100 submissions from individuals will get an early bird discount thanks to eFabless sponsorship. And I want to say a really big thanks to eFabless for sponsoring this project and making it possible. Once we get the silicon back, we save you time and trouble by mounting the chip onto a demonstration board. After plugging the board into your computer, you select which design you want to be active with our MicroPython interface. And that also lets you adjust the clock speed, set the inputs and monitor the outputs. One of my favorite things about this project is that you're not only gonna get your design, but everybody else's design as well. You'll be able to look through the chip's data sheet and try out someone else's design. In our previous runs, we've seen some really interesting designs, including RISC-V CPUs, FPGAs, ring oscillators, synthesizers, USB devices, and loads more. To get started, follow the video tutorials. Expect it to take between a few hours and a few weeks, depending on how complex your design is. If you get stuck, join our Discord community chat. Make sure you sign up to the mailing list to keep up to date with our progress. So have fun, get involved, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you make on your first ASIC.